Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there, Cancer. And of course, Cancer, we're going to... Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's this pride? Love? Completion? Wow. You guys are completing... Oh, oh, Cancer, I know exactly what's going on. You guys are... You guys are really moving on to a better relationship, uh, okay? Whether you have one or you don't have one, a lot of you guys, there may be a sense of feeling independent and alone at this time, um, but there's something happening here with transformation, a transition, and having a relationship change, okay? Especially when it comes to in the regards of love. There's something better for you. Oh my God. Why do I feel like some of you cancers, um, I don't know, it's like kind of what's popping out at me is like Aquarius's title in this series, which was like, I don't know, something, uh, you can count on something bigger and better um, to come your way here because you have completed a cycle. You're right at the end tail of some type of cycle here. So you definitely, some of you guys actually might find yourself being even more challenged because you're about to complete something. Isn't that funny how that works? It's like right when you try to get to the finish line, there's like some kind of weird distraction or something, but um, that might be true for some of you um, and it might not be true for some of you, but I always feel that there's always these little tests and stuff, especially when it comes to recognizing patterns, behaviors within yourself or others here that either serves you or don't because you have really had some type of awakening, haven't you? So be proud of yourself is what spirit's saying. Be proud of what you, of where you're headed towards um, a, as well, okay? But I do feel that there, there has been some type of obstacle with ego or pride or maybe just understanding it um, within, within ourselves and others, obviously, okay? But you really are on the, on the brink of some type of change, relationship change here. So we, need, we must continue to see what else <laughs> you need to know about your situation for cancer. Okay, cancer. Let's see. What else for cancer? Um, cancer, this uh, reading is for Cancer and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For whenever you get this and it resonates for you, you can also check out past messages as well. Some are timeless, some are not. What else does Cancer need to know? Yeah, you guys are going to find the answers you need here. Cancer. So I sense, Cancer, that the answers that you're seeking are going to come from within you and some type of direction that's being illuminated for you. Some of you guys, just hang in there if you don't know a direction or a path or something here. It's like you're only going to be able to see so far, Cancer, but... Um, you are going to be finding some answers. This might be again, a time for some of you guys. Did I say something about distraction? I did because I felt like a a as you complete a cycle in life or a lesson or whatever, there's always going to be these little tests, right? A little thing thrown on your path here. <laughs> so some of you, um, oh, why did I just hear, watch out for some snakes or snakes come entering your garden? Hmm. The, 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 the past might test some of you guys. Okay. Now there's another story coming out too of this hermit. There could have been someone that has so much pride or issue problems that, you know, you might've go, there was something about maybe withdrawal or ghosting here, but you're ready for a relationship change. Okay. You've completed a cycle or something important when it came to the regards of love here. And even pride. Hmm. What else for a cancer? What's this card wanting to say here? Oh, oh my God. I love it. Look at how spirit is talking to us here. Look at this. This is the world card landed on completion. And those are two exact energies here. I mean, this world card is about completion, significant completion. In fact, and you're ready for something new. You're ready for a new chapter, but you're also ready to kind of just be in your own space. There's a lot of uh, power and I, I just sense a lot of you cancers have, you know, great wisdom that resides in your soul here. So you have that ability to access this. 
I'm actually seeing this lantern that is actually full of a lot of spirit guides around you. Okay, you see all those little orbs? That's a lot of spirit uh, guides, angels, ancestors guiding you guys, right? Because you've been asking and praying for something. Take care of your energy. Okay, this might be a time where you do want to, you know, create some type of space between you and others just for the time being, okay? Um, for some of you cancers, especially when you know those energies not to be, you know, uh, good for you or, um, I mean, some of you guys, it's, it's just about, you know, securing your position where you're at right now, okay? Because you're going to a place here with more tools, more wisdom, more knowledge and change. Even a sense of completion here. What else? Because depending on where you're at in your life, some of you guys, this is might be the last piece to the puzzle here, right? Even though life is always full of surprises, isn't it, Cancer? <laughs> what else for Cancer? I'm really drawn to the green that surrounded the, the hermit there. So heart chakra being revived or healed or rejuvenated green color for you for healing i oh god i just okay i let go of the anxieties of others hmm. cancers we were just talking about this uh situation here with you and others right and you are letting go of the anxiety of others see this is why i was getting something about protecting your energy I, I see this in a couple of different ways here because I can see something where some of you cancers, um, you just got this ability to really uh, tap into the energy of energies of others, but you need to practice discerning what's yours and what's not yours, right? And some of you, this letting go of anxieties of others is not caring what others are thinking about you or, you know, just doing your own damn thing here. Um, yeah. This is a time that you guys are understanding something here. This is really about completion, understanding you, yourself, and, and where you belong and where others belong, right? And just letting go of any type of anxieties regardless. What else for cancer? You have a balanced relationship with time, so... Some of you cancers, you're figuring something out with your time, your energy, your space. Um, continue or seek out having ba a balanced relationship with time and use your time well, okay? Because you're opening yourself up to the abundance of the universe. You guys are going to have some type, it's like Wheel of Fortune going on here. You're going to have something fortunate, something fortunate in the regards of resources, time, money, people. So you're, you're being open as you, you know, continue to find balanced relationship with time and use it well, you will continue to open yourself and be responsive to the abundance of the universe. And here you are, world card, the universe here. Maybe some of you guys just need to expect the unexpected. What else for cancer? Yeah, I get that some of you cancers, you really do pick up other people's like worries or stresses, maybe even about you. Um, but, you know, you've got to take care of your energy right now um, and utilize it for yourself here. OK, because you're right at the end tell of something here. So look at this appreciation. I am seeing you guys being in that state of appreciation and love and wholeness, okay? So if you're not feeling it just yet, you will. But take some time right now, Cancer, to appreciate all the beauty that's around you, within you, okay? Maybe some of you, it's been hard to notice the good things because maybe we've been consumed by things or whatever, okay? But yeah, you have been consumed by things here. You know, I'm like getting eight of swords with that. So to fight anxiety is actually to appreciate and love and honor the space that you're at, right? Because then it doesn't have control. 
And how can anxiety, worry, fear show up if all you do is actually bless your situation? It really doesn't have that much power after that. So some of you too, I get this thing that, you know, cancer, a lot of you are more appreciated and maybe popular than you even realize. Okay. And I would say a lot of you should take a little time to celebrate yourself. Okay. What else for cancer? Patience and forgiveness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we do. Right. So there was some pride, you know, involved, which, you know, it's just life, right? But there's something about you guys releasing and letting go of the anxiety of others, having patience. Okay. Some of you cancers need to hear what I'm about to say too, because I'm seeing this like, you know, uh, love and honor yourself enough, enough to, you know, forgive and let go and then be patient enough to get what you truly deserve cancer i have a broken nail look my, my nail broke right there i put super glue on there these are my real nails by the way if anybody wanted to know but anyhow, <laughs> it's not about me right now i just i got like an eye for detail so when i see like weird little things they just kind of poke out at me so anyhow Forgiveness, baby, is going to set you guys free, okay? So don't worry. There's something about you guys really completing and feeling whole, okay? And this is going to come from a very authentic place because you're doing it from the inside out, not the outside in. There's a big difference. What else for cancer? Oh, look at that. Not surprised. Some of you guys be open to some teachings here. Oh, some of you guys are teachers of some type or counselors or, you know, or, or some of you guys very creative. Okay. So some of you, there's something going on here too, cancer, where maybe you don't realize this now, but you will later. Some of you guys, you're realizing it now. There's something about you guys getting out of situations or relationships, friendships, whatever it is that you know hinders you in some way, because I don't, that's why I feel some of you guys, you have, there's more maybe emphasis on what others are thinking about you rather than you just doing what you know to honor your own truth here in some aspect or to not be afraid to take some bold moves or to, um, you know, take the lead to inspire others. I'm seeing you being really appreciated. See, I really was getting, oh God, I just, again, I just get this thing for some of you cancers not to question yourself and, and what you're doing because I do feel whether it's happening now or not, but you are coming into a state of appreciation here. I mean, look at these people. They're applauding uh, the king of, excuse me, the queen of wands here. And so the queen of wands is really inspiring others. So there's something about you guys, whether you realize this or not, you're going to be inspiring others to really follow their own truth and, and lead their own way here. Okay. And I feel that there's some type of agreement or a commitment happening here between you and the spiritual realm and higher forces. Um, but also I see a lot of you guys, you know, I, I see this thing about you guys being very disciplined in a sense. Um, and well, I meant with this one being very disciplined in a sense here where your result is going to be <laughs> very powerful magnetic, inspiring. Okay. And confident. So in general, you're going to feel like a movie star in your own life. I just see this queen of wands as a movie star here. <laughs> so follow your faith or do things for some of you guys that help strengthen your faith, uh, strength, strengthen your, um, your source to spirit here. And maybe for some, don't be afraid to maybe speak what you want to speak or teach what you want to teach. Because I feel a lot of you may have some, you know, beautiful, sacred, spiritual teachings here. There's definitely someone that could, uh, that's, could be put on your path here from the heavens here that could be offering you guys the, the fire and the fuel that you need. What else for uh, cancer?
kind of get this weird thing about you being marked, like you've been marked for success here by the spiritual realm or chosen. Ten of swords. Okay, you're letting go of the anxiety of others. You're taking some time to, for this completion to really heal, right? Patience. Pride, love, completion, relationship change. Look at that. It's like the pride of something or someone has died here, is gone, is ended. And now we're only in the space of love, okay? This is where you're really in that world card where you just feel that love within yourself and all things throughout the universe. And that takes some time, but you're doing it. This is why you're having a completion here. 10 is all about completion and you're ready for a relationship change. Okay. So patience and forgiveness. I know there has been a sense of deep wounds or hurt here, a painful ending for some of you guys. Um, and you do need that time to rest and relax here, but you're ready for the next chapter. And that's what matters is you are moving forward. What else? It's almost like she has taken these 10 of swords, um, because in like normal tarot or regular tarot, the swords are usually in the back or they're stabbing, but she's actually lifted them up and now it's like her trophies because she's definitely transformed her wounds into beauty here and that's what i see you guys doing transforming your wounds into pure beauty and wow something awe-inspiring some of you guys or maybe something with um oh god stories or storytelling story writing here fiction or non-fiction, um, do it if you feel like it or finish it for some of you guys. Okay. Let me just, oh my God, let me just show you what this is. What, what is, look at the picture, look at that 10 of swords and look at this message. New moon too. I accept renewal and delight in fresh starts. Maybe that could be for you cancer, a mantra or a new affirmation to start your day with or to repeat in your mind until you feel it in your being that you accept renewal and delight and fresh starts. What else for cancer? Wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. You're turning something around here, Cancer. And I see a lot of you guys turning it around from the inside out. You're meant to be a spiritual light, okay? Appreciate. Maybe some of you guys even turn it around. Appreciate those hard people or challenges, those, you know, trials and tribulations. Thank them. Thank those things. Thank them. Give it love. That'll turn that around. What else for cancer? No limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. Maybe some of you guys need to know that you're a blessing to the world or you will be. I don't, I don't care how big or small you think you do or have an impact, but there's something about you guys really knowing that you do have much to share. I can see it with the queen of wands and the hierophant, uh, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is coming through. You're a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. No limits. Okay, this is just going back to this thing that I was really picking up with this queen of wands and you. Um, you're like, you know, there's something about you that needs to have this freedom of expression, freedom of creativity, freedom to speak, freedom, something here. And you will be blessed by doing it because you do have much to share. Something also no limitations on your creativity here. Um, expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. 
here you are expanding your consciousness consciousness and really blissing out actually because now you get to be in the seat of the observer spirit observing the world and the divine matrix and knowing that you are absolutely 100% a part of it, right? I'm also seeing the hermit in a state of observation as well, Cancer. So maybe some of you guys take a little moment and, and try to see more that's going on than what you're normally looking at or doing here, okay? What else for uh, Cancer? I, I was going to say, I think I was already talking about that. I could see it with the Queen of Wands, with the creativity. C again, there's just something about you guys having full expression in your creativities, expressing something here that's important and maybe even sacred and spiritual to some of you. Oh, yeah. Higher Forces is bringing you guys someone too, by the way. Giving into your creativity will blast out any fears, worries, or anxieties as well. It really will. So some of you, it might be that you could be just laying in this position or you're in this position too much that it could be causing a lot of angst within you too. So it's time to for you to release it, right? And, and oh my goodness, what I do really like about this is the sun. There's like a... There's definitely a sense of resurrection here, a second chance here at something. The sun is shining right on you. And oh, I was just talking about the sun and look at the yellow card on this creativity here. So I'm really getting sun card energy. It kind of matches up with that queen of wands here, having some type of, you know, success or recognition for your work or creativity here. Not that you would need that, but you're doing something here that you can't help but notice. What else for cancer? I just was hearing a song by Mary J. Blige in my head. What was it? I keep on falling in. I'm not going to sing like Mary J. Blige because I can't. Like I keep on falling in and out of love. Hmm. See, this is why you guys are done. You're done with like having to go in circles with something or to repeat something. Money, money, money. I'll sing that one. Money. Okay, door to value. Okay, door to value. Door to value, you guys. You guys are opening yourself up to a path of money. Okay. Money is finding you. You're finding money. You're finding a value. You're finding appreciation. You're finding exactly what it is that you want and who you are. You're going to be able to sustain yourself, so don't worry here. You guys have what it takes here, okay? Spirit and spiritual forces are really guiding you guys. Stay strong here. Maybe for some of you, not all of you, but maybe for some... If you're feeling bad or guilty about something, first of all, don't, right? I know it's easier said than done, but what maybe could help you is, you know, releasing it, confessing it to spirit, to the angels and allow them to carry it. But you don't need to carry any burdens. You did what you had to do with what you knew with where you're at in life. There's nothing wrong with that. You're right where you need to be. I'm, I, I'm actually seeing justice in this door to value. New agreements, new commitments, new contracts. What else for cancer? Time out. <laughs> Look at the, the hermit card. He is. He's taking a time out. It, it, even the being in the world card. Oh, my God. Ten swords. Okay. Time out, right? Patience. So some of you guys, you may need to continue to forgive yourself and others or just get to a place of maybe just um, being neutral, okay? Not agreeing, not disagreeing, just, you know, trying to maintain a sense of just being neutral. Um, I, I'll see, I'll, I'll look at this card in a second. I want timeout. I want a little bit more too with the timeout. 
Let's get a little bit more with time out here. Because I see this thing about you guys having to have patience, but also expanding your consciousness by observing, right? So we need time out to observe the divine matrix of life. Oh, look at, oh God, <laughs> they're coming out. And I actually, when I was like saying that, when I was uh, reading about the, um, the divine matrix of life, you know what I was uh, seeing was like um, spirit weaving and threading right and, and so you get to watch the threading and the the of the divine matrix of creation here vision look say i told you time out vision trust in your ability to create the vision of your soul i'm okay i didn't even see that when i was talking about the sewing it's like you're sewing or weaving your web of dreams here if you're scared of spiders don't be because maybe you should look up spider uh, medicine actually okay um, that was vision. What's this? Strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Well, we can see that with the Hierophant. You are being guided by the cosmos. And look, here's the world card. And you're being guided by the cosmos because that's what you're surrounded by. Stay strong. And this is why. This, oh God, a card just fell down. Oh no, it's the Eight of Swords that fell on the floor. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I told you I was, I don't know if I told you, but I was getting it with that anxiety. I let go of the anxieties of others. This is, okay, it's like I could see this person running around circles here, trusting your ability to create the vision in your soul. This is about you guys being bold here. And also, I just want to finish this. I want to finish reading this. You are being guided by cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. Positive outcome is assured. Remember. <laughs> not surprising. Not surprising. And you know what's so interesting is we've got three eights here. Look at the eight of swords. Eight, eight, eight. So there may be some stresses about finances, resources, or feeling restricted, not seeing a way or a solution just quite yet. Open yourself up more and more. When you start to be in a place of patience, forgiveness, and maybe even being neutral in a situation, you're naturally opening yourself up to abundance. You are. So take a time out. Take time out right now to really notice the abundance that's already in nature and in your life, okay? Because there's something about you guys might not be in seeing, you're, you might not be seeing the whole picture just quite yet. Or, um, okay, for some of you guys, even just like seeing the ocean or, you know, whether it's on a video or a picture, or maybe you can go out, just notice how vast and wide that ocean is. I mean, it's like forever ongoing. That's exactly what spirit wants you to get into the mindset with you and being unlimited. Not... You know, no limitations and the eight of swords is limitations. What else for uh, cancer? Transcendence. Well, here's more about eight of swords of what you guys are doing. You're transcending your mind's limitations and allowing your soul's light to truly shine. See, this is why I'm getting this thing about you guys stepping aside from your own self here, <laughs> being able to see or catch any type of patterns, cycles um, that puts you in a limiting uh, position in your life. Whether you grew, or you grew up by this, or was like passed down, I don't know, or we created it through our life experiences, some of you, it's just, you're just continuing to grow and grow and grow and really unveil your true identity here when it comes to being limitless. So as you don't give into the fear, anxieties, and worries of others, you're going to naturally transcend your own mind's limitations and allow your own light to truly shine. Oh my God, we're just talking about light and look at what's right next to this light. <laughs> light it's time to reveal your radiant light to the world oh my god <laughs> oh cancer you guys just do it some of you guys just do it get out there do what your thing okay time to expand time to you know reveal your radiant light to the world 
So don't worry, some of you guys, just a little bit more patience. And as it starts to naturally unveil for you, you'll know when to step in that spotlight because you're meant to. I just see this thing about you guys being marked for success. What else for cancer? There could be something about videos for some of you guys to um, five of swords. Okay. You guys have, okay. There's something about you guys um, staying structured and organized no matter what here. Things are, oh gosh, there could be something or someone here too where, wow, we are, we felt, okay. Mm, there's a couple of things. Some of you guys, there could be a father figure at play here or the lack of, we could have had a lot of dealings with someone that maybe we felt unsupported by or even band, abandoned by here. Um, but you guys are getting ready for some type of new situation where spirit is saying you guys have more than the ability to take control of a situation, to handle a situation, to handle being a leader. And we got this door to value here and we've got the opposite of the five of pentacles here. I want more with this um, emperor for cancer. Let's get a little bit more. It's almost like there's something about old school ways here or old traditions or old something. And we don't want to listen to that. We don't want to be a part of that anymore. We're done with that. We're, we're ready for a relationship change. We're ready for a change. I want more with the emperor. Follow your dreams. Listen to your intuition. You guys are going to be, you guys are going to be okay here. Yes. There's something about you guys really taking control or get organized or structured, whatever you guys got to do. Um, and maybe don't listen to, you know, don't be listening to any of those negativities or negatives, uh, negative things from others. Okay. Because there might be like a feeling of some of you might feel like you're this underdog or something like that in a situation and you're not, you need to follow your dreams, take control of the situation right now. Okay. So that you guys can listen so there's something about getting organized. Some of you guys um, implement something here where, okay, what do I want to say? I want to say something like this, Cancer, like have your affairs in order so that you guys can sustain yourself, okay? And everything else is going to fall into place or do what you can to sustain strength, okay? Because you are moving towards your dreams. You are following your dreams. You're following it because you're listening to your own intuition because you're in the king and the queen of cups, your own energy, What else for cancer? Ascension, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness and you're ready for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I'm seeing this whole thing about a relationship change. Yeah, somebody, somebody strong, uh, someone stable, someone that might even be in it for life, okay? Because we do have a very mature emperor here. Man or woman, doesn't matter. What else for cancer? You got a healer here too. be open to other ways of teaching and learning too. So you guys are moving on to better times here. Something is being healed right now and you guys have the power to heal a situation as well. So don't forget this. I do feel that someone is going to be on your path. That's going to offer you guys some valuable energy here, whether they give it like healing words, healing energy, um, be open to, uh, also, yeah. Cause you guys are like, look at, I feel in this higher fan card, you're like surrounded by all these animals. Oh my God. Yeah. And I was talking about a spider. Um, I feel a lot of you, you know, pay attention to maybe, uh, animal spirit guides that show up, um, on your path or in your dreams, um, and shape shift into that energy, take on their strengths, take on their courage. Okay. And also see through the eyes of that animal too, because you guys are really getting close to a place where look at the sun can't help, but shine on you. You're almost there. 
Uh, what else? We got Leo energy. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Also, some of you guys, um, strength card here too. You may need to, re you know, continue to release the anxiety of others here, right? Because you are going through a, a, a very sacred process for yourself. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. Here you are connecting to the pulse of Mother Earth. And look at how connected we are here in that strength card here, right? A time of change relationship change connect to the pulse of mother earth right and here you are connecting to the pulse of mother earth appreciating the beauty and nature and inside and out of you too what else for cancer okay that's it for those so let's find out what does cancer have to look forward to in the near future what does cancer have to look forward to in the near future keep on falling in and out of love i don't know how the hell i don't know what the other freaking words are i wish i did maybe look it up hmm. what does cancer have to look forward to in the near future <laughs> not giving up and self-love and you know i can see that that's actually really true here look at you persevering here through some hard times or maybe even a loss right What you have to look forward to is persevering because you are love and you are offering yourself self-love here. Let's see what, let's see how spirit's helping you. How is spirit helping cancer? How is spirit helping cancer? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> you guys might get invited somewhere too, and you're going to have some good news. Oh, spirit's helping you guys with receiving spiritual acceleration guidance. And uh, lovely. We got the sun card. Okay, what did I just tell you about the six of swords here? <laughs> you can see the sun coming out, right? You're almost there. Spirit's helping you guys with your confidence, with feeling good, <laughs> feeling radiant. Some of you cancers, I don't know, you guys are like out there, got some influence, maybe some stardom here, but either way, you're feeling good because life is going awesome. How can it not with this freaking sun card? So some of you guys may need to, um, you know, prepare yourself for some kind of acceleration of movement here, okay? And uh, also Spirit's helping a lot of you too with some type of communication. But I do get something about you guys receiving some type of like news or invitation to something here. So Cancer, you're going to be just fine. You've got a positive, a positive outcome for your situation, okay? And you're ready for this and you're ready for this change. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.